All right, so here's how to test golf cart batteries with a common multimeter at any big box store. Um, just look for a multimeter with DC voltage. All right, so the common misconception with any kind of battery is that if you have a 48 volt system, some people would assume that at 24 volts, you're at 50%, which is not true. So if you look at this diagram, on a 48 volt system, you should be reading 50.93 at 100%, all right? So if you're at 50% here, it should read about 4.81. Now we look at an eight volt, because it's an eight volt, uh, six batteries, 8.49 is 100% charge. At 50%, you should be at about an 8.07, okay? So we'll test the first battery here and see. Obviously, you look for the positive wording here. Red probe, black probe. This one reads 8.15. Okay, 8.15 on this sheet, 8.16 is about 60%. Okay, so you, that's how you test each individual battery. But if you get 8.49, you get 100% charge, all right? So now doing the whole system, they have what they call, you run it in series, which means you hit eight, eight, the positive to the negative, you create 16, 24, 32, 40, on the very last terminating battery, you have 48 volts. All right, so what you need to look for, look for the two biggest wires. Here's one coming off the golf cart. This is a positive, obviously they, it's a red um, wire. So that's, that's a good indication that it is the positive side. The other big uh, wire is coming off of this battery here. So we can assume that these two are the, the terminating batteries, okay? So what you wanna do is put the positive lead and a negative lead and the reading says 48.3 so if we have a diagram here 48.3 you're going to be right around here so there 50 percent so it kind of coincides with just testing testing one battery but that's how you can tell if your your battery bank is bad if you're looking at 10 percent charge on a 48 volt system you're at 46.03. You never really want to let your batteries go below 50%. So this is a good way of testing it manually. You can see if a battery's, uh, um, there may be a problem with one of the cells. So what you need to do if you want to test an individual battery, you really want to disconnect each of these cables, separate the batteries from, from each other, and then you can run a test on them and then you can see individually. Because right now they're running in series so they're sharing the same power so if one of these batteries is uh, worse off than the other ones these other batteries are gonna have to supplement to keep this one up to charge so you never really want to mix old batteries with new batteries um, but to really test what we do to test batteries we disconnect them all keep them separate we charge them at 100% we let them sit for 24 hours and then we load test them and we see what the drop in, in voltage is and then we can get determined if that, that battery bank is bad. We've seen batteries where we charge it for, for 24 hours. It reads 8.49, we'll let it sit overnight and when we come back the next day, it might be at four volts and we can assume that that battery is bad. But that's how you test uh, your individual batteries and the batteries is a set with a common big box store multimeter. So when you're looking at the multimeter, make sure and this is how we remember it. Voltage DC, which are batteries. These look like three little batteries. That's how we say it's DC. And then you look for V for the voltage. So DC voltage is what you need. The squiggly line here is what we call, this what we use for AC voltage. But with batteries, you need DC. And a good way to remember it is these three little bars here look like batteries. And that's how I remind myself. So thanks for watching.